Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Major Family. And you know what time it is, man. We are back for House of the Dragon here on the channel. Season 1, Episode 3. We jump right into it, man. I cannot wait. We get right on to this, man. It just dropped. Your boys jump right into it. Hope you guys are excited for today's video. Guys, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button right now. Smash that like. It will help out the channel. And hit that bell so you guys are not missing future episodes of House of the Dragons here on the channel. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm too geek to be talking too much, man. We don't need a long intro. Let's get into today's episode. Let's get it. Crazy. That's major. Uh, uh. Millions on the table. That's major. Uh, uh. I turn dirt into diamonds. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Hell yeah. Let's get it, y'all. Season one, episode three, House of the Dragon. It feels so good to hear that Game of Thrones. Theme song, come on, man. Damn, it feels good to be back, y'all. Let's get it. Hell yeah, let's do this. Corliss, Valerian, I think that's his, uh, his sigil, right? Crab feeder, dude. Did he defeat. Yeah, it's the crab feeder. Valerian is coming for you. Valerian. The sea snake will have your boxy fucking head. Mmm. This dude got to be stopped. And they go after him. That's. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Chris Davies, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that dude. That his neck is crazy. Oh my god. Look at that. Yes. That's what we've been needing, man. We've been needing more dragons. Save me. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo. He just stepped on my man. He can't say save me, bro. Yeah, I'm going to save you, all right? Put your ass to sleep. You are saved, man. I just baptized my man with a dragon foot. Goddamn. Burn them all, baby. Burn them all. Run the old Look at that. Rex. Burn it, man. Where did, the, where did the freaking crab do go? Crab feeder guy go? Burn his ass. Matter of fact, don't burn him. Capture him first. Dude, this is sick, dude. His dragon is. Oh, there he is. Come out, Dreya. Where are you? I'm going to feed you to your own. Bro, does nothing to his dragon. Arrows does nothing, player. Nothing. Unless one of them catch him like that. Come on, bro. Not my guy, though. Come on, not my guy. You got to get up there. You got to get out of there. You got to get out of there. Come on, get ready. Bro, his dragon is so just... It's definitely like a snake, bro. It's crazy. I love that scene, though. That just reminded me of how, like, Daenerys came. Remember how Daenerys came in and messed up Jamie and uh, Bron? Two years old, and already our boy has a kingly presence. Whoa. He may yet, brother, but this morning he insisted on eating porridge with his hands. <laughs> he will grow. Two years. With quite a party assembled in his honor. And the king and has by the end of this an hunt, heir. We shall have more to celebrate. And what is that, pray tell? It is Egan's second name day. His infancy is behind him. It only remains for Viserys to name him heir to the throne. I wouldn't be so sure. He's Look the out. king's firstborn son. I don't know that his grace sees it so clearly. Otto is aged. Damn. He with you. 
to make him see it. Lord Hand. Your Grace. Wow. I bring urgent news from the Stepstones. The crab feeder has dug in for siege on Bloodstone. Bro, this guy. I love it. So it's been two years, and it looks like Alison Hightower has given the king his, uh, his heir. Uh, well, you know, a son that he's been long awaited. Uh, he's been waiting for. Uh, but that's awesome, you know. But anyway... Look at this dude, though. This guy right here, man. It's awesome to see him in this. He's he's rocking the Lannister sigil. Lannister for sure. But this guy is from... I remember this dude from Vikings, man. When I used to watch the Vikings, I used to love that show. Stop watching it after Ragnar died. I was over that shit. With Ragnar died. I was done with that show. Anyway, he was on Vikings, man. He was one of uh, Ragnar's best friends. It's awesome to see him in like something like, you know, of, uh, you know, history piece. It's awesome to see him in there. That's that's sick, man. This guy. He, While his men yeah. sabotage our fleet under the cover of dark. Not today, Tyler. The matter of the stepstones is regrettably urgent. It's been three years. Three years. It actually. can wait another three days. Uh, Allison, come. Eat. It. Yep, it is. Is she Fortify pregnant again? For the journey. Dang, he got a son. Is she pregnant? Wow. Is the baggage strange? How many kids do we have? He's presently massing at the river gate. Lord Jason expects us in the Kingswood before midday. Have you seen Rhaenyra? I have not, Your Grace. What's up, girl? Under the dragon's eye. Three years, man. Damn. Again. Perhaps the princess might like to hear something else. She would not play it again. Hey, we got my man on repeat, though. Look, this new hand hurt like a mug. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> ass on repeat. Shit, let me hear it again. Oh, hell no. Y'all ain't cool. I know she ain't about to walk over there with a little big belly ass. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We ain't cool, girl. So I said stop. From the beginning. You may go, Samwell. You are to stay by order of the princess. Then well. The queen commands you to leave the godswood at once. Damn. Uh, she princess. outranks. Yeah, I ranks her now. That's so fucking dirty, man. Your oh, best friend. Look at this. Oh, she is one the back The king stabbing. wishes you to join us. The king has much to celebrate. He does not need me. He wants for us all to be together. And perhaps the hunt could be fun. Is it the king's command? Yes, but it... Then at once, your grace. But it needn't be... None of it needs be this way in truth, Rhaenyra. Girl, we ain't ever gonna be cool. It's been three years. You think we ever gonna be cool, bro? She's, man, hell nah. Must have been my best friend. Hold me down. We were close to tell each other everything. You would be with your own child sooner than later. And make me a proud grandsire. It's not so bad. The days are long, but Aegon came quickly and without fuss. What was that about? Should ride out with me. What was that look about? Like, was it like something else that happened that we don't chase. know? What was that? Rather not. And you have duties. As I am ceaselessly reminded. I'm sorry? As I am ceaselessly reminded. You would need to be reminded if you ever attended to them. No one's here for me. Hmm. Here for Aegon, boy. You don't want to be there? The little new family you got, you forgot about her, huh? I don't know what's going on, man, but it just seems like that shit is dysfunctional as hell, man. Yeah, man, I feel bad for Renera, but, uh, I mean, the king has to remarry, though. I mean, he has to remarry, but it just, why did it have to be, like, Allison, you know what I'm saying? Like, why did it have to be her, though? Like, come on, you supposed to be my role, dog. That's what gets me, man. That's supposed to be my role. Y'all was just literally on the first episode. She was laying on your lap. Y'all was talking about things together all talking all type of shit y'all just kicking it and talking about stuff y'all prayed together and shit and it ended up in damn king's bed now having his having he she got a son by this man and she pregnant i wonder how many children they have together uh, they hey, hey, have the conqueror babe, second of his name here's to his 
disgrace on his second name day. Damn, look at that. See, man, that's so... Damn, girl. She's just like... She's just like an afterthought, bro. It's probably what Mary and Elizabeth felt once uh, King, uh, Prince Edward was born after all them years from, you know, Harriet Eighth and Jane Seymour. They probably was just like, what the fuck are we? Well, they got took out of secession anyway, the line of secession anyway, but they probably just felt like an afterthought, though, which actually they always was an afterthought. Harriet Eighth was evil as fuck. He didn't care. But I'm just saying, like, damn. Your dear uncle is the great mind behind this war, is he not? I wouldn't know. I've not spoken to Damon in years. Since mm. you supplanted him as heir. Damon made his choices, Lady Kira. The princess was more suited to the role. He's made a mess and the king was put an end to it. Send her, girl? fleets and men and clear out the triarchy for good. But the crown is not at war. The crown is at war, princess. Though your father refuses to admit it, we've been dragged into it by your uncle and the sea snake. And now have you served the realm of late, Lady Red Wine, by eating cake? Mmm. Get your little old ass up. Get your little ass up. Old ass. I want to hear what you got to say, girl. Yeah, she ain't got time for that small talk gossip. She ain't about that. Get up out of there, Renair. You don't want to hear that. I like how she tried to, like, Alice tried to, like, you know, like, try to defend her and shit. Like, she was better for the role. Bro. Thank you, but no thank you, bro. You done enough. Lord Jason Lannister. Hey. Gathered that from all the lions. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I wonder how, I wonder where ranks the, the Lannisters twin. right now, how rich they are. Father's council. Corlys Valerius riches. I wonder where he's at. Frightfully the Lannisters dark. in this, Can't how rich they are at this moment. The finest honey wine you'll ever taste. Made in Lannisport, of course. Of course. The rock is thrice the height of the high tower in Old Town, taller still than the wall in the north. It's been said that yeah. if one were to stand in the tower, on a perfect day, one could see clear across the sunset sea. What is he doing? He's trying to court her? It must be quite something. He is I don't have a dragon, her. of course, but I do have the means and resources to build one. He's Why would you need a dragon pit? Dow's dragons, of course. I'd do anything for my queen. Or lady wife. Wow. Yep, he's courting her. Thank you for the wine. You know that interesting, your bro? Feel like your breath stank. Yeah, she wasn't. Yeah, she smelled that shit. She turned around like, whoa. Well, your breath smell like ass. Out of here. Marriage proposals all, and I have tried often to discuss it with you. Oh. But you've refused me at every turn. That is because I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra. Uh, excuse me, Your Grace. Looking weak out here, and everybody showing, showing your true colors, man. You show, you put your clothes. You must marry. Was a stand, stand above it all. Yes. About this the Royal Huntsman has sent a report, Your Grace. There's been a sighting of a white heart. The stag is the king of the king's wood, your grace. A regal portent for Prince Egon's name day. What happened back then? My father... trying to sell me off to Jason Lannister. Was... Was I named heir to the Iron Throne so that I might only further raise the standing of a lord of Castle Rock? You want me to kill him? We should return to camp, Princess. Mm. It's a beautiful day. We should take in the King's Mid. Hold up, we got something there, right? You got something going on you right there. You betrothed, Sir Kristen. I had an adventurous youth when my father served at Blackhaven, to be sure. But my station was never high enough for a formal betrothal. Before I spoke my vows as a knight to the King's Guard, I could have married a common-born girl, had I wished. How lucky you are to have a say in your own life. Many in the realm would gladly trade positions with you, Princess. Thanks. Only because none of them has ever held my position. 
That's okay. Maybe the Princess of Dragonstone, but I'm toothless. One day, not so long ago, you held enough power to write my name into the White Book. And when your father named me to his King's Guard, it was the highest honor any Cole had ever known. All that I have, I owe to you. Now, I'd hardly call that toothless, Princess. Yeah, man, this family's so dysfunctional. Goddamn. She just couldn't marry somebody else? Not the little girl, though, either, but... Just somebody else, bro. It, I think it'd have been much smoother. But, hey. We're here for the... Drama, so... Your grace. Let that drama build. How far? The droppings were found half a league to the east. Y'all holding, Still Ugh, holding shit? Between two and three hours, your grace. Oh, y'all nasty. The best scout spied him. Oh, y'all nasty. Just holding shit. I ain't that serious. I've never been one for signs of importance, Your Grace, but if the gods did wish to show their favor. You just wipe that shit on your shoulder, bro. I'll be very disrespected. Like, what's wrong with you? This is gonna wipe that shit on my shoulder, dog. Can't believe your ass. The White Heart is a stag, so they saying like the stags was running the game back in those days or something? I don't think Baratheons was running it, wasn't it? It wasn't a... Baratheons wasn't even like they didn't even have a house back then yet before the Targaryens showed up, right? They were still like didn't the Targaryens give them their house and make them whatever who they are? Your Grace. They was loyal to the crown too. Like that. I had this Empire forged Rome. in the Golden Gallery in honor of Prince Aegon. Castle Rock is a splendid seat. Rhaenyra may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. Uh, what loss of station? If you were to name young Aegon heir, your grace. And when would I be doing that? Oh, shit. I had assumed, as he's your firstborn son, many of us had assumed... Many of us, you say? Have your bannermen questioned my choice of heir? Of course not, Your Grace. It is your sworn duty to report rebellion stirring in my kingdom. Rebellion? There has been nothing of the sort, Your Grace. I, 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 I did only... not decide to name Rhaenyra my heir on a whim. All the lords of the kingdom would do well to remember that. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you for the gift. All right. Yeah. Your Grace. Hold it down. Hold it down for you, you know. Fine. Hey, bro. Don't end up like Robert Baratheon, bro. Get lit and get over there. Get poked in the stomach, homie. Like you're spilling on yourself. Ugh, you're wiping your face with the doo doo hand. I mean, the, the shit gloves. The Gotta get the stuff has together. The trail, your grace, and has sent out the hounds. It won't be long. Ugh, he just wiped his mouth again with it. Damn, now you got shit on your mouth. Is within reach. What do you make of Lord Jason's proposal? That man's pride has pride. There is another choice beyond Castle Rock. One perhaps you might be more comfortable with, one closer to home. Who are you talking? Who do you have in mind? Talking. Prince Egon. Whoa, her brother? Oh, you tripping. Hell no. The boy just turned two, Otto. Yes, but it would cease the endless proposals for Rhaenyra's <laughs> hand. <laughs> Betrothed them. I came he here to hurt. Not to be suffocated by all this fucking politicking. Max, Let give me a speak day. No more of it. Oh, nasty ass. Otto, get up out of here. You're getting crazy, bro. That's a little. I know they married each other, like you know what I'm saying. I think they married, like you know, brother sister married each other. I feel like, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, they did. No, I'm tripping. That's not uncommon. That's not uncommon for Targaryens. I'm bugging. That's not uncommon. I totally forgot. Yeah, brothers did marry sisters and, and shit like that. Cousin, yeah, okay. Shit, Aegon, 
they're gonna conquer and marry both his sisters, didn't he? But they were like around the same age. She is like, how old is Renera's? Renera's Renera got to be like eighteen now because she was fifteen when it started. Three years later, she got eighteen. Little dude too, bruh. And probably, probably should take a chill in the wine, bro. Do you wish to hear my opinion on the matter? <sighs> should I guess? You believe that your son, Sahau in Breakbones, the strongest knight in the Seven Kingdoms, is the best match for an era. Wow. You flatter me, Your Grace, but no. Oh, okay. It would seem to me the best match for Rhaenyra is the son of the Sea Snake, Selenor. Whoa. Some years ago, I counseled you to take his sister to wife. My reasoning remains the same. Lenor is of pure Valyrian descent. That's a good match, yeah. He shares blood with your cousin, the Princess Renice. And he is the heir to the wealthiest house in the realm. Yeah, that's a good match. Hell yeah. The breach between your houses has not narrowed since I last spoke of it. It would do much to assuage Lord Corliss of any slights real or imagined. Yeah, that's a good match, y'all. I like that. Okay, that can work. How old is dude, though? Because dude was at the tourney. He was young as hell. We must pray, of course, that Lenor survives the fighting in the Stepstones. They gotta be still younger than her. Probably three. You probably three, four years younger. Damn, man, he is wiping them shit gloves on everybody. The disrespect. Stay ready, bro. Stay ready. Come on. Come on. Ain't in the messed up robber. I think it's a big boy too. Oh my goodness. Hold on, come on. Man. Oh damn, he tear her ass up. Hit her with the eight town stomp, bro. Good stuff, Sir Christian. <laughs> what? Oh. Mm. Yep. 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 Okay, damn girl. Okay, okay, okay. Damn girl, you just went crazy on that damn boy. Okay, I get it. Shit, that's what gets your ass gift for stomping me out. You stab your ass like six, seven, ten times. God damn girl, I get it, Renair. Many in my line, been dragon riders. Very few among us have been dreamers. What is the power of a dragon? As vivid as these flames I saw it. Oh, sure, yeah. The only we told is. I so wanted it to be true. To be a dreamer myself. Hold all my thought and will into it. Abyss of grief and regret. But naming her heir would begin to set things right. Oh, it did. I never imagined I would remarry. That I would have a son. If I was wrong. He started questioning himself. Yeah. Damn. Shit. Starting to question everything. Holy shit. That's not a good spot to be at, man. He about to get. He about to get. That bug about to mess him up. Watch. Watch. Tear him up. <laughs> Close your eyes, too. Yeah. Oh, damn. Never mind. I don't know why I was thinking he was about to get a Robert Baratheon. Is that the white one? Wow. You kill that and bring it back to camp?
Fuck you, Otto. Why am I saying that about him? Did you enjoy the hunt, Your Grace? Well enough. How fared my grandson? The ladies Lannister and Redwine were quite taken with him. As they should be. He's the future of the realm. You yourself witnessed the scale of the celebration, how it united the men. When you bore the king a son, you ended 15 years of uncertainty and doubt. Aegon, like his namesake, was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. Ah, uh, so he started. If the Cerys were to name him heir, the realm would fate him for it. Are you trying to get her to miss the king? And does this not please you? Do you not want your son to be king? What mother wouldn't? You mustn't ignore the certain truth that if Rhaenyra were to step over Aegon to ascend the throne, the realm would tear itself apart. They all swore obeisance to her. What the hell was that picture back there? That was before What's that got going Aegon. on, man? Rhaenyra would be a good queen. It wouldn't matter if she were Jaehaerys himself, born again. Rhaenyra is a woman. What of my son? Would you have me raise a man to steal his own sister's birthright? It is Aegon that's being robbed. He's the firstborn son of the king to deny that he is heir to the throne is to assail the laws of gods and men. The road ahead Bro, is that picture is very graphic. Is clear. Damn. Aegon they got some crazy king. stuff going on. You must guide Viserys towards reason. Hey. He'll never right. find it on his own. Otto's over here running the show, bro. Just being sneaky as hell. And like, uh, Otto's, Otto's the true power, God bro. God punished me for my indulgences. Otto's the, the true power, good? bro. Too good. Right, so it's a photo in that room where the photo was in her room, too. They, they, some, they, they freaky up here, bro. They freaky, freaky. That's some big freaks. I was hoping we might discuss something. Rhaenyra. It's crazy, man. She queen and shit. That shit still was crazy to me. Like, did that to Rhaenyra. Hey, hey everybody we'll wants power, bro. Prince Damon are losing their war. Badly, by all accounts. This is a plea for aid. Then why not send it? Because it is a war started by two malcontents. Unhappy with decisions I made. Malcontents. If I now provide Damon and call his sugar, what will that say of their king? Perhaps that he is a good man who loves his brother. Well, if you truly believe that, my dear, then you possess a generous spirit. So look, Damon, stop What do you believe, Viserys? That I am forever doomed to anger one person in the pleasing of another. Then I pose a simpler question. Is it better for the realm if the crab feeder thrives or is vanquished? True. His ass to get murked. There you go. I thought you put it to him. Make haste to Dwarfstone, Sir Alan. And deliver this to Prince Damon yourself. At once, Your Grace. Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted? As if to the death. Because he means to replace me with Alison Hightower's son. Mm. The boy you always wanted. You have him in hand now. You, you have no further use for me. You might as well peddle me for what you can. A mountain stronghold or a fleet of ships. Ew. You have misjudged me, Rhaenyra. Oh, know it. Jason Lannister knows it. You said it yourself. The lords of the realm gather like vultures to a carcass, hoping to feast on my bones. It is true that as rulers we must marry for advantage, to forge alliances and bolster our strength. You have always understood this. I myself was promised to your mother when I was ten... Ten and seven years of age. The Vale had an army to rival the North. I've heard that story since I've had ears too. Mm. I loved her. She made a man of me. I do not seek to replace you, child. You've been much alone these last few years. Alone and angry. I will not live forever. <sighs> I wish to see you contented. Happy even. 
You think a man would do it? A family? I had a family. What would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. True. True. That is true enough. As to your match. Make it yourself. Search him out. Find one that pleases you. As I did. Okay. This is all coming from Allison, though. He didn't make this up. Just like Otto said, he needs guidance, direction. This man. Damn. Rhaenyra. Shit. The Hot Towers is the real power behind the crown. I did waver at one time. But I swear to you now, on your mother's memory, you will not be supplanted. Hell yeah. I love the reassurance, bro, but you be changing your mind quick as hell. All somebody got to do is walk in the room and talk to you, bro. And the next thing you know, you will be like, okay, I did beat it. You know, I had time to think about my decision and now I'm changing it. So, bro, I ain't taking your fucking word, bro. They still fighting this dude? Damn, that's his son? He got big as hell. Dragons can soak with bloodstone until they fall out of the sky. The crab feeder and his men have no reason to leave those caves. We must give them one. Yes, who? Which man here will have At least is fighting this war? What role have you played in this council, Uncle? Ooh, other than master yeah. of complaints. Enough! Blood or no, Vaymond. I will not have you stoke mutiny. Thanks. Better calm that shit down, boy. What's wrong with you? Trying to start some shit in here? I like him, though. Like his brother. Got Moxie. Prince Damon. I bring word from His Grace Viserys Targaryen. First of his name, King of the Andals, the Roynar, and the First Men. Lord of the Seven no. Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. What is he doing? Why did he just beat the shit out of the messenger? He don't want the king's help? Is that what it is? Yep. There it is. The soldiers ain't about to follow. 2,000 men to set sail from King's Landing to join the effort in the Stepstones. That's the letter. Though time and circumstance have seen as estranged. Will deliver the victory that has thus far evaded us. Oh, shit. You don't want the king to have all the glory. You know how the second, bro you know how the second brothers is, man. They don't get the half of the glory. Of the first brother, man. Not even near. They the first brother, the king takes all the glory. But you know, the second brother's one not the risk in his life unless you're a Viking. Obviously, these ain't Vikings. Yeah. So this is yeah, this dude's going right up to him, bro. Look at this. Bro, he's going right up to them. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I like the knee to the chest, though, baby. Yup, yup, miss, miss. Y'all trash. Y'all all can't shoot worth shit. Who y'all supposed to be? 
Y'all can't shoot worth shit. Y'all need to get. Oh, y'all are terrible. This is one man. Fucking bitch. Let's go. Dude, you guys, you know you guys gotta shoot in front of him, right? You gotta get the shot, right? You guys are terrible. But the way this man running, this man is running a 4-3 right now. This man is flying. Here you go. Come on. Get ready, baby. Get ready. Come on. You got this. Come on. Oh, damn. Nah, never mind, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, hell nah. Okay. They, nah. Okay. Uh, well, you tried, right? The whole fucking Y'all some bitches. All y'all against him. Let's do one on one. Your best against my best. <gasps> Let's go. Orlis. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Who the fuck is that? Whoa, he's a drag. I forgot he was a drag. That's yeah. Renice is his mother. He's a dragon rider. Who is he riding right now? Oh, my God, he's a dragon rider. Yo! What dragon is he riding right now? What dragon is he riding? Yo, I forgot he was a dragon rider. His mom's. <laughs> Let's go! Bro! Yo, this dude's a fucking beast! Yo, I'm liking Cronus' son, bro. Dude's a fucking boss. I totally forgot that they got the blood of Targaryen. They're all for these. The riders. Oh, go get him. Don't let that fool go. Go get him, Damon. Go get him. Check our ass. Let's go, bro. What the fuck is going on here? What are you carrying? What is that? Oh, that's Damien. I was like, I said Damien. That's Damien. He's fucking carrying a body of the. The crab feeder? Dude, it was like half of his body, though. This man went there and sliced my man up, bro. Yes! Yes! My man sliced it with Dark Sis. Look at that. Carry this ass. Oh, that's a boss, bro. Cut his ass up. Bro. King him. Place that crown on my man's dome, though. King me. Yes! Yes, yes. Oh, this was a beat. My man walked out the cave with my man's body, not even his body, bro. Just half of him. Like, come on, player. It's over for you. My man went up there and murked him with the quick. I would love to see that fight, though. I would love to see that fight. Oh my god. You know we gotta watch. Uh, we gotta watch behind the scenes and shit like that. Renera, Viserys, and Damon oh, emerge out of episode three reborn with new perspective on who they are and what their purpose is fuck yes Ugh. man it's just getting better and better bro what a fucking banger episode y'all such a good episode guys what a phenomenal episode man i'm so i'm so sorry i want to apologize now because how stuffy i am man i'm getting a little coming down with, with something man but it ain't gonna stop me from watching my show though don't i uh, don't play I love this episode, man. I really thought, like, man, that showed a lot from Damon, man. Like, that was that was huge for him. That really brought out, not watching that, like, you know, watching, you know, what they were talking about, his character evolving like that. Him to run through that thing, just, you know, he was just willing to risk his life. Like, I don't care anymore. You know what I mean? I got to prove that I can do it without him. And he's been losing. And I don't need my brother. I can just do it by myself. And he took matters to his own hands. And he said he went on a suicide. That's what the director said. He went on a suicide run. And man came out successful, man. You know, their relationship reminds me a lot of with the king, uh, Viserys and 
Damon. They remind me of, you know, uh, Louis the Fourteenth and his brother, uh, the Duke Orleans. It just uh, the way because Duke Orleans went on to fight the battles and the wars. And I'm sure the Fourteenth. I'm sure he probably fought, but but I see he didn't. He wasn't fighting. He was more just like running the country while his brother did him. But Louis the Fourteenth obviously got all the credit. Ah, uh, it's just man, they're 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 dynamic, but just this episode was phenomenal, man. Seeing that war, seeing them going, you know, and to win that based just off of Damon, just it just made it so much better, man. Like Damon went in there, and then to see Cruel's son, what's his son name? Lanier, Lenore, whatever. His son, I don't know what his son name is, man. I gotta get it right later. I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna fi- I'm gonna figure it out. I really wasn't like you know. I heard his name said before when, you know, Strong said it, but I wasn't really, like, taking it in. I'm like, because I, I just thought it would be a dope match with Valerian and them, you know, obviously. So, but he, this dude come down with that dragon. I want to know what dragon he's riding. This dude's a dragon rider. It just took me by surprise. I did not see that shit coming, man. My man is, he has Targaryen blood, man. His niece is his mother. I thought that shit was so badass, man. What a freaking sick episode. Seeing Daenerys, I said Daenerys, Rhaenyra. He, it seems like Viserys is still sticking on her, but man, but you can tell he's uh he's having a hard time. Hey, I can't wait to see what happens, man. This is getting good. This is this is getting good. This is another banger episode. Every episode so far we get has been banging. One, two, and three. It's it's uh it's it's good, man. Uh, I feel like uh, if it keeps going on the path it's going, this has definitely the this this with the direction it's going with. It. I don't know if Miguel's gonna make uh. McGill leaving after season one, like you got you guys told me, and I also see some stuff about that. Once you guys told me, I looked it up, and he actually is leaving after season one. Hopefully, he does a couple episodes here and there. Um, I but I hope that doesn't stop the you know the rise of this, and it it can get to that Game of Thrones level that we love, you know. So I'm hoping him leaving, departing, that doesn't that the the show doesn't take a hit. But I'm excited, guys, man. I can't wait to get it to episode four. I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. If you did. Do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button right now. Join the major family. Smash that like. It will help out the channel, guys. We'll get the channel out there. And hit that bell so you guys are not missing future House of the Dragon episodes. Also, Harry Potter movies. MCU Journey. We got so much good stuff coming to the channel. You guys do not want to miss it. Also, links in the description if you guys want to follow me on Twitter or Patreon. The Discord. All that good stuff where we vote on movies. You guys don't want to miss it, man. But I'll see you guys in episode four of House of the Dragon. You guys be safe. Peace.